Hello everyone, welcome again and today in this demo, uh, I'm going to give you a demo of a project ATM management system and in this project, if we talk about the technology, we are using JSP servlet and MySQL database for the backend and it's uh, using Spring Boot, CSS and HTML for the front end and the project is using Maven thing so uh, to manage the dependencies and it's following the MBC architecture and you can see all different packages are there being controlled or exception model util and the front end part is completely handled into the Maven and sitting over the Java uh, 1.8 and server side from server side it's using Tomcat 8.5 to run the application as an IDE we can use Eclipse also and it's using currently STS2 Okay, so to run this application, just right click here at the root folder of the application and click on run, run on server, select the server, click on finish, the application will automatically launch over the Chrome browser. Other things, we have the database here, which is a DMDB. Here we have three different table. The first one is a user table. In this user table, we have the data of related to the application users. Okay, we have two types of user in the application. The first one is an admin and the second one is a customer. Okay, so admin have a role ID 1 and custom, the different customer have a role ID 2. So by using this uh, IDs, we are differentiating the uh, user types. And here we have a login ID in this column and the password. This application uh, for password, we are using pin as a password. So the pin will be your password and now uh, let's move to the uh, application that is running over there so let's see what this application can perform what are the options and features it's using so here we have a home page link and we have our service section under the service section we have some this not uh, this is just for the image and it's not clickable and you can you didn't find any page when you click on this so this one click deposit what are the services we are defining we are just it's just a, a static page here we have a help center here a user can enter the detail and the detail will be stored into database so some 10 digit valid number and enter the issue click on save the data will be issued and sent to successfully. Now this data will be stored into the help table in the database that is simply data that we just entered here in row number four. Okay, so by this uh, you can check the uh, help center and other option we have a login. So we'll do the login in a while. Before that we have a uh, registration form here. We can register as a user so to enter the register. I need to enter my account number. So let's suppose I entered this as my account number and the first name, the last name, and I want to set one pin and the email address I need to enter here. So I'm gonna enter this email address for dummy and the date of birth. So I'm gonna enter the date of birth. I'm gonna enter 10 digit mobile number. Select the gender, click sign up, and the account number must be valid. Uh, eight digit number okay, there is a validation, so we need to enter four and four only a digit number over there. And the password I just remember okay, pin must be four digit. There is another validation, so I'm gonna enter it as a okay and enter the date of birth so i'm going to enter an old date here it should minimum it should be 17 years so now the user is registered successfully now if we see the user table again then the new user is there okay now let's log in as an admin first then we'll log in as an user and see how the admin can perform and what the user can perform so we have a login ID as an admin at the rate uh, admin.com for admin and the pin we need to enter a pin here which is one two three four in case so admin and I just sign in and it says invalid login ID and password 
So are we doing some mistake? No. We have this user. We have this pin. I think is there any other option to log in into the application? Okay, we need to enter the account number here. So I'm gonna enter this account number. Oh, I just missed uh, to read it. To read the label. Okay, nice. Now I enter the username and password. Now I can log in into the application, and then I have an option here for the user list where I can edit the user list what are the customer is there into the application I can search them by name first name login ID and uh, if I pass this login ID here and I click on search then the data will be filtered and apart from that we can delete a user just I need to select this click on delete the data will be deleted I can also edit the record here and then another option we have a transaction detail so whatever the users are uh, going to perform all the transaction will be stored here so let's suppose one user are withdrawing some money or uh, depositing some money so the complete data or uh, complete uh, transaction detail will be stay uh, store here and it will display in this table and this is just transaction list issues if in case any customer will raise an issue the all the issue will be display here and Apart from that we have some common option like hi admin my profile page change pin and log out here uh, from here I can change my pin I could just log out here and now I'm just going to log in as a user so wow, how the user can log in and what the user can perform you can see the role name here so just choose accordingly so I'm going to use this account number this time and this password as a pin make sure uh, keep in mind you need to enter the account number and pin as a your username and password this will be fixed okay so I can check the balance of this user I can deposit a case let's suppose I deposit let's say currently we have a, uh, this amount and here I want to deposit a case so let's suppose I enter 20,000 deposit now my balance is updated and withdraw case let's suppose I withdraw this amount now you can see the balance is less from there and here's the mini statement here I can check all the transaction detail that is done by only me not for the all the users okay and account holder is a test case you can see here so this data is coming filterly here and in the admin section you the admin can check uh, transactions of all the users and here we have a my profile section change pane and log out that's it and other option we have a reset and okay so now let's uh, uh, if you need the source code you can check the link in the description box just go through there is a contact detail are available you can ping us over the whatsapp you can ping us over the email or you can ping us over the skype so a team will be there to help you also to set up the project so you can buy we have different multiple services you can check take services accordingly and uh, we have uh, like if you need to understand the source code if you are preparing for the interview and you want to understand the code how the project is work uh, if you are preparing for an interview so you can connect us connect with us will explain you uh, the end-to-end -end coding flow internal flow and how the project is working and how can you answer the uh, interviewer about the project and uh, also will set up the complete code at your machine so it will be easy to understand you how the things are working over there thank you